Hi, my name is Pastor Lisa, and I'm the pastor here at Buda United Methodist Church, and we are so glad that you've j decided to join us for Christmas Eve service, where we will have a service of lessons and carols this evening. Before we get started, I'd like to invite you to do three things. First, go ahead and silence your cell phone so that you're uninterrupted for this 30, 45 minute service. Second, try to find a candle. It can be any candle you have. It can be a birthday cake candle so that when we all sing Silent Night with candles, you too can have a candle lighting your way. And third, I wanna invite you to go ahead and lower the lights in the room that you're in, just as if you were in a Christmas Eve service, and that will allow you to focus your attention only on what we're doing here. And now, let's worship. For each of the last four Sundays, we've lit candles on the Advent wreath. Each light was a step into the darkness, leaning in expectation into all that is being born in us at this holy time of the year, when the unknown lies before us. Tonight, we light the Advent candles for the last time this year. We light the candle of hope. We light the candle of peace. We light the candle of joy. We light the candle of love. And we light the final candle. The light that shines in the darkness with the full power of our faith. May this light bear our hopes as well as our faith in love, 
in goodness, in compassion, in justice. Sisters and brothers in Christ, this Christmas Eve, we are invited to prepare ourselves to hear once again the message of the angels and to go in heart and mind to Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass, to witness the baby lying in a manger. Therefore, let us hear again from Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the very beginning of creation until the glorious redemption brought to us by his Son, Jesus Christ. And let us worship by candlelight and make our homes ring out with carols of praise. But first, let's pray. Loving God, we pray this day for the needs of the whole world and all God's people, for peace on earth, for love and unity within the church, and for goodwill among all people. And particularly at this time, help us to remember the poor, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and all those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children. Amen. Once in a royal David city stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid a baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother mild, Jesus Christ, a little child. Isaiah chapter 9 verses 2 and 6 through 7 the prophecy the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light those who lived in a land of deep darkness on them light has shined for a child has been born for us a son given to us authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father prince of peace his authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness for this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38, the Annunciation by the Angel Gabriel. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration that was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to, Ju to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was, spending, who was expecting a child. While, there, while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave her to her first son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for him in the inn. When blossoms flowered mid the snows upon us, Winter night was born a child, a Christmas rose, a king of love and light. The angels sang, the shepherds sang, the grateful earth rejoiced, the grateful earth rejoiced, and at his blessed birth the sun. Yeah. 
again the heart with rapture close to greet the holy night that gave the world its Christmas rose, its king of love and light. Let every voice acclaim his name, the grateful chorus swell. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. The Angels. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace those whom he favors.
reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 through 20, The Shepherds. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in their heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, the wise men. In the time of the king Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observe his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When king Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was, born, was to be born. <clears throat> they told him, in Bethlehem of Judea. 
For so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called to the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
the story has been shared this night, that a young maiden will bear a child and she will call him Jesus. But that's just the beginning of the story, a story that has not yet ended, a story that includes us, you and me, a story of which we are all a part. So we go out to live the story, to tell of the hope that is being born among us this Christmas, to share the love of the season with the whole world, to be agents of peace in times of trouble, to sing songs of deep and abiding joy. As you go, may God go with you. Go in peace. Thank you.